a number of complaints with my last video, previous video before last, that the sound quality was lacking. I agree. You know, I did not have the usual audio editing software that I normally use to clean up the audio. Plus, I had uh, kind of hacked up the microphone that I used before in order to do the dual vlog. So I picked up a new microphone. I have it wired up so that now I, I still got the dual set up and I also have the single microphone set up. Unfortunately, I did not uh, turn down the uh, microphone sensitivity. So, knowing my luck, this is going to be extremely loud and obnoxious. I guess I could try being a little more quieter. Be like, hey there, ladies as I whisper sweet nothings to you. Let me take you for a little ride with me tonight. We can throw on some Barry White. And look at the sun reflect off the smoke in the horizon. Ooh. Fresh asphalt. Gotta love fresh asphalt. Wicked interference going on with my Senna. I wonder if it's because my phone is back in my saddlebag. Mm. All right, so now I'm gonna change some things. All right, so I got the settings changed on the camera. Now I got it turned down to low mic sensitivity. It's not as sensitive anymore. It's a big boy. So now, see the real key is how it sounds at speed. Is you know, it's all fine and dandy at low speed, except I live out here where you know town is three miles across. It takes you 15, 20 minutes in you know, heavy traffic. So that low speed shit don't matter. What matters is the, you know, this stuff. How it sounds when you're moving. Of course, it don't really help much that I've got a modular helmet that's got all kinds of vents and all kinds of noise. Yeah. I could probably sit down and actually put some foam on it and clean up every uh, all the seams. Maybe get a better, more airtight seal. Of course, that'd probably make me feel even more like I'm suffocating. So that's, that might be another problem. Does anyone else have a problem with that? A full face helmet with everything closed up? You feel like you're suffocating, like you don't have enough air? That's... I know it's ridiculous. I, mentally, I know that there is enough air. There's no way I'm going to asphyxiate. But... Something else in the back of my brain is like, you're gonna die. I did pick up a, a a plush squid at Fry's today. It's uh, one of the little squid guys from Super Mario Brothers. So I've got my old Icon jacket from when I went down a couple of years ago. I'm going to take some of the textile out of that, try and get some of the little Icon uh, you know, emblems off of it. And I'm going to build my that little squid some gear. and. So he's going to be a little uh, squiddly-doo with his own little riding gear. 
and I think I'm gonna give him away for 100 subs. I hit 100 subs and he's going to... Uh, I'm gonna throw up a video. I'm definitely gonna record me making all of his little gear and I'll put that video up with a contest and he will be given away. So, I know it might be a little early, I haven't even hit 50 yet, but you know, you gotta plan out your future. If you don't plan out your future, then you're just gonna be completely shocked when it shows up. Yeah. When opportunity knocks, you don't wanna be laying there naked covered in Cheeto dust. So that's, you should at least you know, throw on a pair of underwear and keep the socks next to you. So that's you know, long-term stuff that's coming up in the pipeline. So there's some things to look forward to, and I will talk to all of you later. Hopefully this audio sounds much better than it did before. And I apologize for that last video. I will strive to keep my production quality in the utmost pedigree that it can be. Peace.